hi to my royal family. Um, trying to make sure I look a little decent. I actually am at my doctor's office. It is time, that time of the year, where I have to do my yearly. It makes me sad when I have to go to the doctor for my yearly for the simple fact that um, I actually hate checkups. This is just one of my checkups I go for. I have another one I have to go for sometime this month as well. Um, but the gynecologist one, I legit always be afraid. But I do say my prayer before I go in and I've said my prayer on my way here. I said my prayer last night, um, yesterday, that everything come back normal, that nothing comes back um, bad. And um, I'm just praying that all, all the tests come back normal. Um, so yeah, uh, it just makes me scared. I do, I'm not gonna lie, I get scared every year, but I keep up on it every year because I don't want something to slip up on me that I'm not aware of. And so I like to make sure that, you know, as women, we need to, we need to make sure that these things are checked every year. Um, growing up, I was not trained to do that. Um, growing up, I did not get any checkups like talking about my parents just didn't take me like that um but uh as an adult um when i got left home and went to college i started going on my own um to get my yearly paps and all of that stuff you know i get that done because it's something that a woman needs to do you know um especially i feel like a woman that's a teenager um, once you hit puberty, I feel like it's something that needs to be done every year. Um, and so I wasn't taught to do that growing up. Um, I watched friends that would get that done and things like that. And I knew that I was like, when I get grown and I get, you know, my, I didn't even have my own insurance. Actually, I went to the, um, the camp when I was in college, I was 18. I was in college. I went to the campus, um, clinic to get my first pap smear. So that's where I had my first pap smear was in the clinic, in the clinic of my college campus. And after that, as time went on and I began to work and begin to have my own ins medical insurance, um, I kept up on it on my own um, because it is something that is very important and you wanna make sure that you're good to go. So pray for me guys i'm on my way in there um i'm supposed to be there at 3 15 it is 3 10 and i gotta go up an elevator and i got a mask up forgot about that got a mask up so let me go ahead and get out of here and get this done oh hey y'all so my appointment is over i knew it was gonna take a long time i knew it was gonna take a long time man so my appointment is finally over. She making me do a mammogram sometime. I'm, I'm going to do it when it's close to time to go back for this appointment next year. I'm not going to stress about it so soon. She got me doing going back for a, a mammogram again. Where are the places? I think I'm going to go to a different place this time. Yeah, she making me do another mammogram again. Man, getting old, man. So, um, I'm about to grab me something to eat because I have not eat, ate any lunch. Um, and I'm going to grab me something to eat so that I can go back home and log back in and work, work some more so I can make up my hours um, that I just lost from... Um, being having to go to the doctor so i pray my test results i pray the results come back good and all of that good stuff and yeah i hope hope it comes back good i'm just hoping and trusting in god 
because God, I pleaded the blood of Jesus over my body. <laughs> Before I went in, I pleaded the blood of Jesus. And um, yeah, Ooh, my stomach kind of hurt and she done moved my ovaries and stuff. <laughs> and while she was talking about menopause with me, I never thought I would see the day that I go to a doctor's appointment and they talk about menopause. Sorry, y'all. And they talk about menopause. And she was talking about menopause with me. She was talking about menopause with me because, y'all, um, your girl is of age now. And my, my mom and my aunt actually um, did, had menopause early. Menopause with me. And I'm looking like, girl. <laughs> So, um, yeah, yeah, y'all, and she already told me, and I'm telling her, like, I'm already a sweater, you know, I already get have hot flashes, but I ain't going to that with her again, because I talked with her about that a couple of years ago about my hot flashes, so, I don't know what this car is doing, but I need them to go ahead, dear Jesus, it takes like what for you to go? And you got a little car. Little car. Anyway, um, let me go ahead and do what I need to do. Go grab me something to eat so I can go back home, log in, and do at least up until my time to get off, plus an additional hour to make up some of my time that I've been gone. So, yeah. Let's hopefully I can make it up, you know, what I need to do. So, I'll talk to y'all in a bit. Um, if I don't come back, let's go ahead and do the closing. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And y'all know what to do. Be the best you that you can be. And I will talk to you guys on another, on another vlog. Bye.